In this video we'll talk about what microLED is and why it's the next big thing that can overturn OLED technology. Let's go! <laughs> So what's up guys, Faria and welcome to Shades of Tech. It's my favorite part of the year, CS time. Every other consumer electronic show or Las Vegas delivers to the world game-changing technologies. In the past two years, we witnessed and widely talked about the technology battle between OLED and QLED technology, the evolution of 4K to 8K and the price drop of OLED 4K TVs we are facing right now in 2018-2019. All things we deeply talk about, so if you are interested and want to know more about that, you should definitely check out those videos. So everything is gonna change in the TV market again, and I'm not talking about 8K because we will need at least 3 to 4 more years for that. I'm talking about the technology that will rule the 4K TV panorama for the next couple of years. And personally I don't know if micro LED TVs will be the game changing technology that will overturn the OLED unbeaten power, but Samsung strongly believes so because micro LED delivers picture quality that rivals OLED without any of the downsides. It can get the best of both worlds, the tech chap said. So here is what micro LED is and the top 5 reasons why it could or could not succeed where the QLED technology failed. Last year at CES 2018, Samsung brought an enormous micro LED TV called The Wall and this year brought a smaller 75 inches 4K TV featuring the same technology. Microlight technology is the natural evolution of Samsung tradition and know-how of beautiful LCD displays. QLED tried to go beyond OLED problems of image retention and burning effect given by the organic material. Yes, the O of OLED stands for organic. In QLED TV, the LED backlight layer gives really beautiful colors, but it isn't able to turn off single pixels. The result is an image that to me seems too fake and artificial, like the Samsung Galaxy S3 in the old days, and really failing to reach a contrast as good as the infinite ratio of OLED TVs that in my opinion are much better and have a much more natural look. MicroLED doesn't use a backlight layer because it has problems too. In fact, it can produce the light bleeding effect and it is unable to produce real blacks but only blacks with white inside. Try to watch a complete black screen on your TV in the complete dark room and you'll understand what I mean. MicroLED uses a seamless layer of millions of self-emissive inorganic microLEDs. Here comes the name. In microLED technology each single pixel is a LED of tiny dimension and in this way each pixel, meaning LED, can be turned on and off individually. It makes a fuckload of LEDs. So these are the top 5 reasons why it will or won't win against the OLED technology. Reason number 1. MicroLED delivers better picture, higher brightness, yes it is a really big problem of OLED, more equilibrate image, infinite contrast since each pixel can be turned on and off, change color individually and really wide HDR color gamma. Reason number 2. There are no problems of organic material like impression or burning since it uses inorganic panels and no degradation in time at all. So it means longer lifespan than OLED. Reason number 3. OLED is really thin but with micro LED they could go really crazy thin. No backlight layer, just a seamless layer of self-emitting red, green and blue LEDs. They can produce their own light. We can go beyond the crazy thin LG wallpaper or the new rollable OLED signature display. In fact, micro LED TVs are wall mounted magnetically to the base. This technology is also modular so you can have different panels smaller that can create a bigger TV with the aspect ratio you prefer. Reason number 4. On the downside it is really difficult to produce right now. The resolution of 3840 by 2160 means 8 millions of micro LEDs that have to be produced correctly. Manufacturing is very delicate and only one micro LED failure can compromise the performance of the entire panel. With 8K it becomes mind blowing, it means 16 million micro LEDs. And as the technology goes right now, I will never buy. And reason number 5, price. It could be really competitive but right now there are no official information 
and it's not available to buy to the public yet. It is rumored to cost $10,000 for the 75 inches, so prices will drop only with the economy of scale, so right now in my opinion OLED is the right way to go for us customer. So let's see if during this year, this 2019, we will have some news updates on the price, on the availability and on the specs. So thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, a like will be super appreciated and go micro LED on the subscribe button for more videos like this. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!